Outside star Astralis Ooh. over Ooh. on the T side of things. Look at this boy. Ooh. I'm terrified. Someone's dropped double, double Julie's chopper. Double Chopper. chopper yeah, well, he went man. two and 16, yeah. so it's a fair buy. <laughs> it's a fair buy. I'd rather you give you guys four guns than... <laughs> me have anything. Yeah, than me have anything. Okay, and that's, I respect that's, you know, that's a real leader right there. Absolutely. Well, is it worth its weight in gold? Because these Berettas are scary the best of times. Glaive gets dinked by one, in fact, and... Magic starts to do even more damage. He can't. Astralis, they're running up top mid. They've got the donut smoke. They are flanking this A site. Bubsky's up in main already. Chopper trying to lock it in spawn, but the aim punch will be apparent. Only Sunday Young to find a thing, and it all falls apart at the seams. Astralis, every kill for them. Magic's just playing with them, but they'll respond in due time, and it's only Dexter locked out of the bomb site. Yeah, let's see. Bill Barrett is. Oh, no, no Berettas actually is the way that's going to go. Magis locks it in. Astralis grabbed the pistol. It's pretty exciting seeing Astralis here, right? We haven't really seen too much of this squad on Ancient. They've played it twice in the uh, in the last few months. And so it's going to be interesting to see what they do with Lush here as well. Right, you do need to keep drawing attention to that fact. No zip, big luck in the server instead. Yeah, he was a bit of a clutch minister himself, right back on uh, on on Dust too. Uh, at least pulled out a couple of one v ones with the AWP and the T250 as well. Astralis, bit of a B rush for the second one. You like this? Cool. There's not many men here, only two. Lucky's got to clear everything, jumping and spraying. Double smokes down. Chopper will throw one in. That causes some commotion. Astralis to watch out what could be behind or inside the smoke. And Bubsky will throw it dead to the Deagle. Magics, you're not supposed to do that. Two kills. Someone's going to save the day here for Astralis. And there's so much pandemonium as Chopper takes another down. Bomb plant. Forget it. It doesn't matter. It's all Dupree. And he's dead in the water. So back he'll go through it. Defuse is in. And Spirit with a round. They love these second round forces. They do. They do. I've always been pretty keen at trying to steal these away. Something I'm curious about, Hugo. Yeah. Something that we became very well, acqu uh, well acquainted with. Yeah. If I said VP Prodigy on Ancient, yeah. what would that mean to you in terms of uh, a guy called Rue Fire? Well, don't worry, you don't need to set me up that much, Harry. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit free. Yeah. I could never yeah. forget the legendary Mag Seven. Uh, shout out Rue Fire. Shout one out time. Rue Fire. Yeah, absolute legend. Uh, VP Prodigy. That team was exciting on this map at uh, the Academy League, and yeah, Rue Fire was a, a big reason for it. Running Mag Seven CT side almost every single round, he would just be, be dropping guns over and buying that shotgun, and and it sounds like a meme but he made it work yeah no to a, to a terrifying legit, degree i think if there was one area on any map that was going to exist where you could be and a dedicated shotgun, shotgun. player yeah, yeah. It's, it's cave on ancient undoubtedly chopper though he rather the range and so he peeks out more and further you get more options with a rifle why most teams most people know, will tend towards it once again like I've, <laughs> i watch those games and i don't even know if that's true well if you're hitting max seven shots down the lane like that, I'll be even more impressed. Right now, these Eagles should just be getting undressed by Team Spirit. Now, Astralis didn't full force here. They've actually kept 2K in the bank. So even they want to concede this round and buy up in the next. And well, Spirit will deliver that to them at least for free. The next one will cost you. And here comes the buy for Astralis. Yeah, what are they looking at Don here? It's just going to be rifles out across the board, right? A little bit of utility as well to go around it. Bonus round for Team Spirit. And I use the word bonus very, very likely. Yeah. Lightly, not likely, lightly. You like a bonus, do you? I like a bonus. Only a light one, though. Only a light bonus. But, yeah, I use that very, very lightly. It's just the Scout and Dexter is like the little um, undesirable, you could call it. Don't call him that. Uh, that's <laughs> a great player. <laughs> I'm not calling him that. All right, Dexter, man. You know, we cool. Yeah. Me and Dexter, we cool. Yeah, you tight like that. Oh, bit of a B-Ramp play. I like this from Magix. How will it fare, though? Because Glaive has been dispatched to deal with the B-Aggression and the dink over the top of the box. Magix will finish the job. Astralis only have main control in this round. Bubsky's holding the A-Aggression. No one's doing it. Uh, A-Aggression on this map often seems just like a giveaway. Rare to get value from it. Unless you're getting a mid flank off, Astralis won't allow it though. Talk of mid, they're all the way up in Chopper's business. 
He's already out fragged his previous map. Smoke, traffic, they don't clear the corner, but Chopper shoots too soon, still gets the kill, and he doubles down. It's not pretty. It's really not pretty, but the results <laughs> are there. <laughs> yeah, you can't argue with results, right? Oh, Just dear. Bobski dead at the cross. Yeah, Chopper with three Chopper. in the round. That's more like it. He's seven and one. Yeah, baby. Look at this guy. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's no doubt on Chopper as an individual. He's always a great player, but, uh, you know, obviously outshined by some serious firepower on this roster. It was unlike him to go nearly silent in the previous map. And so it's even more enjoyable to see him pick up the pieces. Already we're seeing Astralis and, and what they like to do, leave Glaive outside of that B site. A lot of mid control on this T side so far, and they'll go back to it. Oh, this is all very, very nerdy. Right? I don't know if you caught that there. Mid mollied the, uh, the, the mid walkout, right? And then he immediately turns back into cube with a flash already pulled. And so if he hears anyone spreading through his molly, he's going to set himself up with a pop flash mm -hmm. to blind someone moving in. If you were the T there, right, that would have felt like, but how is he ready for that? How is he going to flash off so quick? It's a very cool little idea. One step ahead, man. And you've got to be, when you're up against Astralis, Magix, four health, and no fear to swing wide against the pistol. And this should just be a done deal. Even the orb is hopping down ramp, looking for action. It will find it. Next to delivering and four to one to start this CT side. Spirit won the knife round. Just keep that in mind. They did pick this half. I mean, you know, picking CT seems like a just a go-to on every map, not just because most maps are CT sided. And I don't think Ancient is any exception to that theory right now. But on top of that, I feel like, you know, everyone, everyone wants to start with CT, get it out the way. But also, if you're looking for a comeback, I feel like that's far more able on T-side, right? Say you have a bad CT side, say you go 9-6 down, you, you can make the call, okay, right, now we're in control. Now we're the ones, you know, making the moves, making the decisions, uh, disrupting the flow on this T-half. So that seems to always be the go-to. Push through the smoke, that's ballsy, and Chopper it won't work well. Magis lines up a double. And now mid and B locked in for Astralis. If they waltzed into this B bomb site, there would be no one there to stop them. They don't know that. For all they know, these rotates could have come flying through for Team Spirit. Instead, these CTs are just looking for the frags in middle. And it's really not going well. No, every peak they're taking, it's like, you know, they're, they're just digging oh, the hole deeper. No oh, you're yeah. so dead. Oh. One G, but I mean, oh. there was no getting out of there. Double molly. Not just his own, but an opponent's as well. I won't hold it He goes you. and dies in his own Molotov, yeah. though. I wonder if that's to it, not give him any money over. Weird. I think I think you're probably looking into it too. Do you think, think I'm he, looking? I don't know. He ran across to uh, get to the he, other no, side. Why did well, the Sun Die Young cross the road? <clears throat> to not give Astralis $300? Yeah, yeah. That's well, what we're no, saying. his molly was thrown in front, just close, and then he got mollied into the corner. So he tried to cross sides, and uh, the spread of his molly... I don't know, maybe Harry, maybe somebody else's brain is that big, but does it he make that much... pretty huge yeah. brain when it does comes down to Does that make that much difference? Not really. $300, give it, take it, leave it. And the embarrassment of killing yourself with your own Molotov, is it worth it? These are the questions, and we don't have the answers. Oh... Hell of an opener, yeah. Magis just runs him down. On the whole, you know, Magisk versus Magic's front. Yeah. They are both keen to find yeah. these openers. Oh. Ah, Magic's left Astralis for this. <laughs> Here he is holding on. Dexter. Creeping on up. Oh. He's not going to go through the cave. Instead, just playing back in the site. It's a very, very slow default now from Astralis, right? They get that opener, and they know, once again, it's Team Spirit feeling oh. the pressure. And so waiting, well, waiting is yielding you rewards with each second that you just sit back. You know, Team Spirit are walking into oh, your dear. crosshairs. You're extending that lead even further, and you've even seen Magix now leaving this B site, setting up towards CT. At this point, if Astralis commit to the B play, I think Team Spirit is saving, and this is a done deal. Yeah, the two M&Ms did cross there. They spotted each other, so Magic still hangs around for a shot off the orb. But as smokes come in and Astralis play things methodical, a bomb plant is allowed. And, oh, Harry, it's Inferno all over again. Look at this spread. Oh, my goodness. They are all over the place. Bobski is looking to remove saving players. He's been lurking here the entire round. 
It's a nice angle for Sunday, Sunday Young on top of the box. Only his head shown. Bobski is in no hurry. Wants to wait for his team so they can at least trade kills. But maybe he doesn't peek at all. Maybe he just gives the respect over. Jump over the orb. Magic's got to be careful with those pre-fires. He actually hits the shot through the wall. And Bobski still not activating here means Spirit will at least save their guns. Also, one side to that of, of Bubsky not peeking, probably not the reason he's not peeking, he's probably just trying to keep the money, but, uh, and, and knows that's being held, is he also doesn't want to show off his A-Lo, right? Spirit don't know exactly what Astralis are going to be bringing to the table. We're seeing these slow starts outside of B and these mid-takes, but Bubsky hasn't actually shown yeah. the fact that in many of these rounds, he's been sitting, lurking outside of A, waiting for timings. Why waste that bit of information and give Spirit the knowledge on a round that doesn't matter, on a round that's already won? Catch him by surprise. Yeah, go to answer mine, I think you. I think you're bang on to have pointed that out. Oh, look, we got to see Mir's little uh, hot flasher himself in action over here in yep. middle. And now he's getting set up by some Dai Young as well, who's just popping flashes over the top of Cube from this A bomb site. Lovely little bit of synergy between those two on mid. I'm happy that we got to see the design behind that like double pop flash play for the, uh, the team spirit defense. Astralis, not the start they wanted. Bobski, oh. oh, he's going to alleviate a lot of the pressure now. Magis can't convert the spray, though. The double M's, they go blow for blow. And it's Magis with the double X's coming out on top. He's looking to add a third X to his name. Oh, this no. might be dirty. Lucky's lost the bomb. And Bobski all alone yeah. in the one on three. No real hope in hell of winning this one. Yeah, he's already called the save, right? That's two separate players spotted at B, so at this point, Bobski knows it's done. Luckily, I think he might have just missed that timing that they could hear him on the A main push. So Mir goes all the way around, and Bobski looks to backstab, maybe get an exit. Will he be tempted in by a kill? Well, will he even get the kill, I guess, is what we have to figure out first. That's such a shame for Magis, because Bobski does so much work getting that double kill in Cave. And Magisk was already pushed up B ramp. He had a great position to catch off Magics. But he whiffs the spray, as you said, and that costs them the round. Not much to do. And nowhere to go. Counter terrorists win. I'm happy that this has got all the makings of something nice and competitive here, yeah. right? Like been pretty back and forth out of the gate. Team Spirit are trying to flex a bit of the old dominance here now, though. As a look as well. You know, we've seen them lean into this more so than Astralis, yeah. right? We've got the experience. Maybe not on a, a, as high a level. Astralis taking on teams like Na'Vi, who seem pretty, pretty uh, well-focused, pretty practiced on this map so far. Yeah, part of me does wonder though, right? Like in the sense of like prepping for your opponent and knowing what you're up against, it's going to be harder for Team Spirit to to have much of an awareness of what Astralis are like leaning in towards, right? Sure. Because of the change of Lucky coming in, because they never really oh. played this. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Because they never really played this map too much, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's always, especially on a new map like this, I don't think people are even really thinking about anti-stratting yet. They're more just trying to figure out what the hell they want to do with it, right? How these T-side rounds run, uh, especially when these rotates are pulled in. Double setup, and you only know about the first man. <sighs> like it matters, it's one yeah, on five. This was a brutal rifle yeah. round for Astralis. So I, like this was meant to be, you know, a, an, another chance to run it back, another chance to go again. Even if he kills Magics, he's not going to be ready for Chopper. Oh, even oh. if, and it's a big if. He doesn't lock it in. Uh, doesn't lock it in. And so, yeah, never even needed. Never even needed the second man. Team Spirit up at six to three. Reinvestment back on the cards for Astralis. Yeah, they've done a lot of mid takes so far. I wonder, I, I'm excited to see what teams propose is the best way to, to deal with, you know, when you get those top mid smokes in, you lock out the AWP, like you cut off Dexter from mid. How do you respond to that, right? Are you just going to give it up or, or do you want to fight through the smokes? You can flash over mid from both bomb sites. 
at least on the CT side of things. Not from B, but if you back up into CT, there are flashes you can throw that do work. So we'll see how Spirit decide to do that. Dexter, he was able to just take names down mid last round. Yeah, Dexter's doing a very good job, though, of keeping Astralis guessing. In this round, he, he's yeah. not playing towards mid at all. Instead, that's been left to Mir to hold from Cube. And right now, Dexter finds himself uh, reinforcing this A site hold with the AWP. But he's going to be the mobile player, right? He's going to be the guy that's going to up and leave the site at Whoa. the slightest sign of trouble over towards B. And so with that kill uh -oh. getting traded by Majisk, I'm imagining we're going to see Dexter to begin his rotation, start to move around and reinforce this B site. In the meantime, though, Chopper is going to have to hold the line. Because you haven't had like this constant eye on middle, you are a little paranoid that someone could have hit a timing. And so it slowed down the rotations for a moment. <gasps> Dexter's still oh. here. The flash is off. Glaive spots Chopper in the corner and will flash him out. And these rotates are cut off by the smokes down in CT. So a bomb plant is allowed for Astralis. The rap from Mir has got to do it all. Yeah, this looks like a lock-in right now. Mir has to be the hero. Grabs a quick kill, going to flash his teammate back in, but it's a triple ramp setup, and Astralis are even boosting in the post plant. And they can't see the bomb from here, but they can at least cut down a player crossing into the site. There's the tap. It's all a fake. It's all a bruise. And it just falls off the boost. Some die young blind grabs another. No way they're going to win this retake. It's only Mir. He has the kit. He has plenty of time. And he just wants the 1v1. Blaze gone. And Mir can't convert. Dupree holds strong in that clutch and gives Astralis a fourth round on the T side. Oh. These ones are coming down to the wire. Very nice attempt from Spirit, right? Not only were they, you know, three on five initially into that round, but they completely lost the B-bomb site. Sorry, three on four. Magis did take the opening kill, but he was traded. Chopper got nothing uh, with some excellent flashbangs from Astralis into the B-bomb site. And Glaive as well, the swing out cave. He had so much cover from the smoke and he uses the pillar. He spots Chopper, but he gets flashed out. He's paid also. There's a lot of blocking. You'll find it in your pugs. It's very hard to get out of spawn on the CT side on Ancient without blocking your teammates. It needs a lot of uh, cohesion and coordination. We just saw players from Spirit run round the back behind their teammates to get to Temple just to avoid that exact fact. Something to keep in mind and something that's, uh, you know, very hard on pugs, but when you have, obviously, coordination at a tier one level, people are going to know what they're doing and where they're going. But I wonder if we see those spawn plays yet again. This time it's Dexter orping eight. And a very safe B round. With Chopper in cave and Magic's almost playing a retake position at long, expecting to get smoked off in this spot. Chopper needs to go one for one at a worst case. And while Astralis are faking out mid with a lot of utility, I'm sure ending by climbing up the ledge into B. The bomb and the rest of this entourage is heading B would bound. Yeah, Chopper's dropped this smoke, so he's given himself a little veil to uh, to fight behind here for this cave control. That's going to start to clear up at, you know, about the 25-second mark, so they won't be able to get through it. It's that it's that incendiary that he's got as well that's going to help to buy him even more time as the B play comes in. You've really got to buy time if you're these guys in B, because while the rotations are coming through and, like, Dexter's here pretty quickly, everyone else is still leaning up towards the A site, still believing that this could be a late A execute. And so now, as they're flooding up ramp, you would have oh, loved no. some way to slow this down oh. to buy that time, but Glaive, through the smoke, has annihilated these boys over towards B. And Team Spirit, man, the, the two guys that were leaning towards that A bomb site, they're left having a save. They really believed that that was not a B play. Yeah. They were they were lobbing flashes into A main. They were freaked out that something was happening over towards this side of the map. Not sure what kept them there, right? Almost all of Astralis were there the entire time. I think also the, the awareness that they lost mid in the mid round, right? Astralis were waiting outside B, but they also, at about a minute, took you know the donut smoke, the top mid smoke, completely you know removed middle from Spirit's repertoire. They have no information. They don't know if they're getting lugged on. This is a map where you know T's can very easily, especially in man advantage positions, find timings you know into CT spawn and get behind enemy lines. So often, when you're rotating outside, you often need to be you know calling that okay i'm left here keep the clock in mind keep the timing of, of this mid wrap something to you know so you know you, you that, okay maybe you have one guy there risking it but everyone else is going to be long and short and they get locked out by smoke so these are retake site in many positions 
Whereas A is yeah. one you, where you can more consistently mm. stop a bomb pod. There's no cover. I like that Dexter's back on middle, uh, and I'll explain why in just a moment, because this is looking like one ha one Hail Mary A play out of Astralis, just fast on the approach, utility going over to cut off some of these sight lines. Oh, no. Mir, that's awkward. He's fallen oh, off of the boost. Some Dai Young's caught in the back of the site. Dexter's pushing smokes. Mir's dead in the water. And the A bomb site has crumbled before our very eyes. Astralis, they've overran it. On plant isn't secured yet, right? They haven't managed that, and it does get tricky, especially with Chopper still waiting back here in cube. Smokes have faded as well, and there's no way to replenish this. You need Dupree to deal with this Ooh. man, and there he is, slipping the knife in the back of Chopper. Magics can't get out of there either. He's actually just silenced, and the round is won right there and then. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm happy that Dexter's back on mid. <laughs> <laughs> it never actually plays into it. But the reason why I was happy is I think one of the things that's been hurting Team Spirit is in these last few rounds when Dexter has been mobile and he's been like moving all across the map, a lot of the time the mid holders come down to Mir in Q. And, and just like because of the nature of it, like when he gets smoked, whenever there's like a timing where someone could slip CT, it's really slowed down the rotations for Team Spirit, right? Every time they're going from A to B or B to A, they're so paranoid about someone having hit this timing up into CT spawn. Oh, double nade onto Magix. May have found a deeg opener, but gets dunked down. It's only pistols here for Spirit. So should be easy peasy for Astralis. There's the response into Magix. And yeah, we saw a triple uh, triple A smoke execute there in the previous round. Astralis showing us a lot of different things, right? They've had mid takes, they've done BXX, there's the A smokes. They had a, a donut smoke, a temple smoke, and a site smoke for CT to cover off behind those default boxes. Just causing a lot of confusion. In fact, there were like five sm five smokes down, but I think a couple of them were from Spirit, the player right-clicking them at the big box. Didn't really help them though, and this round will be no easier, even though Spirit have both players in B. Astralis have already up and left, leaving Magisk here to just get these exits. Last player ascertained on top. Magisk is ready. Seven to six, and this is a really good T side, right? If you're winning T halves here uh, on Ancient, you're doing a great job. Or at least that seems to be the case right now. But, uh, you know, as more time goes on, as more teams perfect their play on this map, I guess we'll see where it truly lies in battles. Started well for Spirit, but going to come crumbling down on this. Yeah, and it is worrying that this T side is is getting to the point where Astralis could look to win out the half, right? Uh, it, it is it is a map that you know more often than not leads it leans into the CT side somewhat, and on top of that, if you look at Team Spirit and all the victories they have, they've always won out the CT half. So it does make me a little bit nervous. We want to see a resurgence here as we get towards Ooh. the end of the first half of play. And hell, if Mir's the man to get us there, I'll take it. The miracle man. Holding down Cube, hasn't given up mid to Astralis. He's kept them. He's kept them with very little control over middle, and he's put Team Spirit in a great spot here. Lucky and Bubski. They're going to group up in Cave, trying to make something happen into the B bomb site. But look at Sum Dai Young. He pushed all the way through A main. He's wrapped all the way up through middle. And now he's hot on the heels of these B site players. Team Spirit have put together where this is coming from. You know, on the back of figuring out where players Whoa. aren't, they know where players are. Yeah, and that re-smoke is so annoying as well because Bubski, you know, could have probably smoked long, then they'd have short and long locked out. And hell, you can plant suddenly. I mean, Spirit, we're fine with playing retake, but... Why give them the option? Smoking cave delays Astralis by another 15. They use that last smoke on short. That leaves long open. Molly will have to do. Magic's waiting. Got to watch out for that spread, but he seems safe in the corner, and Mir's ready to go through the smoke at a moment's notice. Flank is finally activating for Sundar Young, and time is ticking for Astralis. Lucky trying to cover his teammate. While Spirit give it away, is that going to give room to Astralis? Can they pick it up somehow? Bubski doubles up and Lucky has followed up on the flank. Oh my goodness, Astralis win the round. Two on four, Spirit, they welcome them into the bomb site. They said, have it, rolled out the red carpet. Tried to play a retake, waited on the flank. None of that happened, none of that worked.
Lucky was so ready for Sunday Young in the back line. And that the saddest part about that, Sunday Young could have flanked maybe 20 seconds earlier. He could have flanked when the smoke was down, but you know, as the smoke comes down, Astralis go quiet, they go cold, they stop moving, and Sunday Young doesn't want to activate in case they're holding him. Great flick back from Lucky. Put back in. Oh, and another opener here. So Astralis, they are steamrolling towards a good half on this T side. Dexter brought to his knees, Mir back on this same angle. And oh, they haven't learned from the last round. Glaive <laughs> should be able to get oh, this no, trade no, in. No. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? How's he gotten out of there? How's he gotten out? Mir's still alive, maybe not for long, Bobski. We'll deal with the player in question. Now having to go all the way back to get the bomb as well. But the A site, I was going to say it belongs to Astralis. It doesn't, yeah. They have cube and they're holding for these players rotating in. I almost wonder if you send Magisk into B at this point. Oh, oh you just end the round of their namesake in abundance if they want to claw this one back. Yeah, very impressive uh, game for Astralis, right? Considering it started so well for Spirit on that CT side. Astralis now look to do the same. Double up on the middle. Pushed in deep. And quick tap from Dupree will rid us of Mia. Quite the man to take down oh. early. And Glaive's got another. That's filth. Yeah, these USPs are proving problematic for Spirit. And they're gonna try and recommit into B, but after finding two kills elsewhere, Astralis are already one step ahead. They're all here. Hell yeah, they are. Look at them coming on that minimap. Look, all four little blue circles coming over. Glaive rotating through middle. The Whoa. rest of the gang just need to hold the oh. line. Dupree and Magis getting a kill apiece. He's left it all on Chopper. He's flying solo right now. Tagged on up. And there's Glaive with the wrap. Shot Woo. in the back of the head. Astralis, they grab that pistol round. They sit up 10 to 6. And now we start to look at this team spirit. You know, we, we know them to be a squad that's, that's pretty keen to attempt these risky forces, right? To come in with yeah. Galil's AKs in rounds like this. Are we going to get that? Yeah, you know, it's more common to, to always want to force on CT side because, you know, your, your first buy round, if you, if you full eco, is going to be pretty dog anyway. You want the orb, you want all the util in many maps, but the temptation is there from the bomb plant alone. And Spirit, they might just answer the call. So let's have a look, see what they've got cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, mm -hmm. no doubt about mm -hmm. it. I know my spirits. Yeah. I know my spirits. Yeah. I could name them all. What are you sipping on right now? Oh, I did. I, I was actually going down <laughs> like the, the poltergeist yeah. route. <laughs> Thought so. Yeah. You know, I could tell I'm like a druid, man. Living out here in the jungle. Is that what druids do? <laughs> don't think so. I don't think so either. <laughs> Dexter creeping in through main. Bobski just hanging out with the UMP. You're more of a shaman, I think, Harry. Shaman, that, yeah. Yeah, that would work. Shaman. Here he Jeez. is, Bobski, over in the temple. Waiting patiently. Oh, the UMP, there's one, but now they do close that net around oh. him. Glaive wrestles with the UMP to lock in that kill there, but it is left on to Dupree in a clutch. Oh, oh, the, uh... It's almost worked wonders. Dupree's quite the man to try and get past Owen. Thanks to learns that the hard way. Out positioned, nice. out red. Dupree with the clutch. The 1v2 locked in for Astralis. It's very, very close, right? The force by almost yeah. works for Team Spirit. And now, now you're just left heartbroken. Yeah, that's the worst part as well, because you you just want to reforce, really. Like, bomb plant, if they, if they plant, they are 100% reforcing. In fact, they still might. I saw an AK come out there at the end, but... That's always a temptation. You kill four players on a round like that, and you know that buying up would put you on par with the, the weapons of Astralis, and ecoing would only give them not only more rounds, but let them build up economy uh, while you delay your AKs. So this map feels like a great map for AWP players. Yeah, I mean, dude, we've even seen like triple orbs bought out yeah. on the CT side of this map, right? There's, there's a lot of long angles. There's a lot of grimy stuff you can do with the orb. Mir with this hero AK is deep in middle and he's all alone. Like if this AK gets gets cut loose, you're not retrieving it. I, I hope that Magix is going to move up and try join him, but no, he's just going solo on a big push. All right, well now yeah. you understand why they're putting this, all this onus on it, yeah. right? They're not worried about juggling the AK around. They're saying, look Mir, 
you're not dying. That's why we ain't following you. You're going to make this big hero play from the push up through middle. He has hit a timing. He got past Bubski, and I don't know if he got spotted crossing. Well, I think I think the call was made because initially this was open. Mir actually had a timing where he could have just walked in. No one was even watching it. But then Bubski clearly must have made some call like, yeah, okay, I'm off it. Like, yeah, they could have hit a timing. Watch out. And this is what I was talking about in the first half, that, that clock awareness of, okay, can they be red? Can they be donut? And so Glaive is aware of it. He comes back. Still gets heard. Mir gets the shot off. The problem is it's surrounded by pistols. But just could just chase down these armorless players. It'll be free and easy. If he drops the bomb, the round might be done. Mir's flank will be forgotten unless he activates now. He's trying. Mir's scratching his head. He's like, I, I don't get it. I've come all the way through. And now they're still holding for me. Oh, Dupree. Nice we'll get locked out. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter though. Yeah, it's still the conversion. Yeah, it's still the round like, for Astralis. Really smart reaggression from Magista. I think that has to be said. Like not only just Dupree, like locking in super safe and just not even fighting me, just tucking in cave. But but Magista go. All right, there's a flank. There's only one flank. Let's let's beat it to the party. Forget the flank. Let's kill everyone else. Uh, and, and he gets rid of the Glocks. Whether he knew it was full Glocks or whether they bought. Who knows? But Magist throws himself in and he wins the round off of you know dropping those players outside cave as well. Nice stuff. Tap off the Glock, like you said, but inconsequential at this point in the game. 12 to 6. And this is it right now for Spirit. They have to show something in this T side round. Whoa! Oh my word! <laughs> oh, bye bye! They've aggroed down ramp. It's a triple B ramp push. See ya. And that is brutal. Like, talk about a statement yeah. right away, right? This is... You've been building up for this if you're Team Spirit, right? You, yeah, you had that little force buy in the second, but this is your first. All bells, all whistles, everything you need. Right, you're hoping that you could have uh, you could have put this to good use, and now you're immediately on the back foot in a big way. Yeah. It's a high risk, high reward play to triple push the ramp like that, but the reward is monumental. Look at this now. Look at how little Team Spirit are left with. Yeah, and we have double donut plus Dupree spotting. He can tell his team when they get out. Still aware of that mid timing, as is often the case, and that gives a bit more room for Spirit to get close. Scope will surely be heard. Dupree knows not to peek back in. He's going to flash it instead. And cross to the temple where he can try and trade off his teammates. Flash out, Lucky going big. He's looking for plays. There's a big gap in the smoke. Dupree activated, traded, and Lucky is there with that gap, providing another kill, leaving Dexter. And he's not long for the world. Lucky, beautiful round out of him. Grabs a free AWP. And Astralis, they knew exactly what was going on in that five on three. Reads have been really good. Like, even think to that pistol round where we have one player on B. And I, I'm looking at that setup. I'm getting worried. They double push A, they double push B. They get two kills, and then everyone rotates B, just knowing, okay, Spirit in a three on five, what are they going to do? They're going to group B. And this round is a similar case. Yeah, Astralis, they seem uh, they seem good. The first couple of games on Ancient, pre-player break, maybe didn't go their way, but practice has come in. The results are blooming. And they're blooming good results as well, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying. Glaive, oh, this could be a lowdown. This could be it. Look at it. It's a tiny little funnel. Oh, it's the pummel funnel, and they're all getting lit up. <laughs> Chopper, last guy remaining. Look at him. He was the only one not put through the ringer, not put... Oh, oh no, you. never mind. There's the ringer after all. 14 on the board for Astralis, and they are charging towards a victory in this opening all series. All right, I'm calling it pummel funnel for the rest of my life. Yeah, right, thank pummel you very funnel. Much. Thank the pummel you, funnel is activated, and yeah, who better to answer the call than Glaver Majisk? Locking it down. Majiska is having a great game. 22 and 11. Fragging hard. Clutching out to these side rounds with massive entries. And now just here to deliver the goods with a double as well. Yeah, I, I mean, you're running out of rounds here for Spirit. They've got to run another rifle here up against 14. Lucky in mid. Quick flick and he hits it. Trying to get out alive. Provided a flash by his teammate back in the cube. And a five on four that Astralis don't look to concede. Magic, he has hey, had enough. Yeah, like everyone else, everyone else is playing the the classic <laughs> Astralis style. And Magic is like, no, no, I just want this. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I just push. You know, y'all remember what it was like when I was leading the squad. Y'all remember how crazy the strats got. That's what he's doing. Man. Just he's go just, kill. Okay, he's just running them down. The Priest stood back yeah. at ramp, like watching him off in the distance. Is this is this allowed? He look, says to Glaive, is this fine? And look at the bomb. This is like I don't know how you recover this. Like it's, it's you know, you could you could place your bets here and you would all bet Astralis, I'm sure, but my goodness. Chopper's now giving away his position. Yeah, now that they've seen the Molly, suddenly it's like, oh boy, you 
You done screwed oh, up today. Majisk is in with another. Okay. Oh, it might be the ace for Majisk. Oh, no, not the oh. ace. Four in the round, and there he oh. is. Take a bow, Majisk. 29th bullet, baby. Saves one for later. Saves one for your girl. Yeah, man, that's brutal, dude. <laughs> Magisk is just on another level right now. This is nuts. This is crazy. I love it. And, like, you can tell he's feeling it. He's yeah. not even in the same planet right now as the rest of the team. <laughs> They're all, like, keeping... Uh, everything very, very stand, pretty safe across the board. And it almost feels like they're just saying, I'm just like, yeah, mate, you're, you're cracked. Go do whatever you want. Enjoy, yeah. Remember when this was 4-1? Uh, <laughs> or 6-3? I don't. Magist, oh, finally. Yeah, get right. His finally, finally they, they are able to put a stop yeah. to this guy, because thus far, he, he's felt like, a, like an unstoppable force. And Team Spirit have been the most movable of objects. <laughs> Shoving it right out of the way. Man. Okay, well now with matches gone, yeah. it's like a bit of a sigh of relief. And the fact that you've been able to keep this in your advantage, Team Spirit, oh, moment of composure. This is now your best chance yet to try and make something of the T side. And this is where your comeback would have to begin. Yeah, Astralis want a, a flawless CT to end it if they win this round and recover. They won't have dropped a oh, single round of this so half. Late. Messy spray, smoke is down too late though. Mir. Wishes it was a bit sooner. Smoke's on CT as well. They should give away a plant, right? You're just hoping you don't get spammed. You're going for the J Raz. Yeah, you're hoping getting it down. Yeah, when you plant J Raz like that, man, you're, you're, you're safe. Yeah. Jay only cooks up the best spots going. Razzmatazz. Yeah, they put a bit of a razzmatazzle on it, but it's not going to be enough to win them the round. Uh, Astralis mm. are taking their time at grouping yeah, for this one. Sure. Maybe, maybe they're kind of considering, yeah, we could just save here, right? Yeah. We're not feeling the pressure yet. The only way that we end up, you know, having this comeback to haunt us is if we throw it away ourselves. And so keeping the money in good standing is like really the important thing here. I'm pretty shocked they even called this off, to be honest. Like just off the money that they have alone. Like, yeah, okay, the, the lead is well, but you got players over 10K right now. Yeah, but you it's know, realistic, sure. Oh, uh, yeah. no, no, lucky. Because now, oh. I, now oh. I'm. Oh, 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 it's fine. It's fine. The madman. Okay, I would have been molding if it. he ran in and died with the most expensive gun right at the end. Yeah, okay? no, that's, that's, if anything, even, even better, right? Because, yeah. like, you know, if you went for it, you probably wouldn't have, have, have won it another. Spirit saved one gun so that they can't even celebrate the round win because they know they can barely buy here. We got Galil in play, barely any nades on two. And still, with many more rounds to win, they've at least found their first. Triple set towards B for Astralis again. Normally, whenever they've done this, it's come with aggression down towards ramp. They won't commit to it this time. Ooh. Lucky is blindsided by Mir, who just walks out in mid. Bobski's oh. going to nail the nice trade, shot. at least. That was a beauty from him. Give it this four-on-four four back over, and now... Now, if you're Team Spirit, you're going to start leaning back in towards this B-bomb, Sam, I'm imagining, right? You, you put three players here early. One of them's got the bomb as well. You've lost some of the presence over towards A. And even though Sam Young was still holding main for aggro, you, you don't have the real estate to launch an A commitment here or the utility. So you're only really left with a play into this B-bomb site. Right now, two players here for Astralis, and Glaive might be that first point of contact, although he is starting to kind of, you know, taper off, starting to measure himself a little bit. Play back in the site. Now the utility's going over. Astralis should be very obvious where this is looking to come in now. Yeah, they're going to try and play retake. Glaive's going to go down with the ship. True captain taking two with him. Any more Glaive? Oh. Yes, under the smoke. He's locked them out of the bomb site. Little one way to make it happen here for Astralis and back to the bomb for Chopper. 1v2, he can evade capture. He can go elsewhere. When will that mental clock in Astralis' head hit? When will the realization set in? About now, it's gone awfully quiet. Whatever they do, as long as they do it together, they've got their best bet to win this round and close the map and series out. Chopper's got the plant. And all the options open. Where do you go? Well, as you say, right, as long as they do it together, that's, that's where they're at their strongest. They're just playing a trade game. And for Chopper, having the AWP. Okay, as they split up, this gives him like a bit more of an opportunity. The yeah. fact that one's gone to Temple, one's wrapping out Ooh, CT, it's but it's no. only the tag. And Magisk is able to Crazy. swing back out. Astralis, they take this opening series versus...